Welcome to the world of online drama, where reality and fiction blur, where characters feel real, and where viewers can decide how the story unfolds. Online serials are a growing form of youth entertainment, and that's got the advertising industry very excited. The younger demographic are not watching nearly as much TV, so all the advertisers are panicking and they're working out new ways to connect with audiences. These shows will be funded by, by brands primarily, virtually cutting out networks. The internet is kind of quite uncensored for things like that. You can have product placement, you can be blatantly talking about products in a way um, that gets people to kind of get up and take notice of it. Rehearsing. Set. And action. For Melbourne-based comedy drama Forget the Rules, the narrative unfolds in three-minute episodes. Just to be sure, hey? Which are posted online or sent to mobile phones. The viewer has control now. You're free to watch what you want, when you want, when it suits you. For content makers, the freedom is that we get to make content that we believe in and um, we don't have to bow to other people's tastes or, or filters, you know, in, 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 in this country or anywhere else. So that freedom is just powerful and, and brands are starting to get that. Which ones are going to be comments? Producer Jim Shomos can thank the rise of social networking sites for his show's success. MySpace, Facebook and YouTube have helped foster a new genre of storytelling as users flood the internet with videos. Most posts soon disappear into cyberspace, but last year a blogger in America caught the attention of tens of millions of viewers worldwide who thought her confessional style diaries were real. Since Dad banned Daniel from the house, this is our only way of communicating. It was all a con. Lonely Girl 15, as she's known online, was acting out lines in a highly scripted drama. But it didn't matter. Fans were hooked and kept logging in for their daily fix of teenage drama. A lot of you think that Daniel and I should reconcile. I completely agree with you. Since the show began 18 months ago, it's had nearly 80 million views worldwide. And so emerged the business plan, which offered tantalising commercial opportunities for the show's producer. And then the next step was to build a business out of that. So part of our business model was to create international spin-offs. And it was a chance to extend the Lonely Girl 15 universe, create another show, and then really prove the business model of advertising and online serials. It's very well framed. Yeah. Creator Miles Beckett launched his second series this year. London-based Kate Modern is another fictional drama which styles that itself on sense. reality. Yeah, that looks so real. Yeah. So we treat these characters as if they're real people, even though people know it's fictional. They live in the real world and it makes sense for them to interact with real brands. I had a bit of a fright this week and I didn't want to speak about it until now. You know, we were careful but I was late. Anyway. I can't tell you how excited I was to see these babies this morning. Having products such as tampons, it can be a difficult product to integrate. For me, it, I actually didn't mind. I thought that was quite a funny video. It's not like blatant advertising, which, which is a difficult thing to do sometimes. How could I forget the whole styling range? While advertisers here have been slower to see the potential, Jim Shomos found the success of overseas serials helped secure backing for his latest series. On one hand, We'd rather have 80% of our freedom, you know, and be able to get this show on air um, uh, with, with, with brand involvement than not get it on air at all. To secure a third series, the Forget the Rules team have begun pitching to advertisers, highlighting the potential of product placement and showing just how easy it is to integrate brands into storylines. Oh, look, I haven't got time for this. My favourite show's on. Oh, what, the 7.30 report? But cyberspace watchdogs have called for industry regulation as more producers go down the path of incorporating brands into online entertainment. When you have um, products and advertisements embedded like this, um, there's a danger that uh, uh, all those critical faculties that normally sort of uh, stop you from being sort of seduced or tricked by advertisements may be um, not operating properly. Content makers say it's their audience that keeps them in check. We self-regulate a massive amount. So, you know, we don't do, we haven't done any integrations with like anything that we feel there could be concerns with or sensitivity about. 
Capturing a market that rejects traditional methods of advertising is one selling point of these shows, but their ability to keep that audience is what makes them stand out. In order to keep people um, sort of sucked in and stuck to the, the system, um, the more interact interactive and uh, sort of exciting and, and involving um, they can make it, the better. A character will go online and talk to the fans or will meet with the fans in person at a live event and we'll actually plan how that will occur as part of the narrative. Steve's told me he can... With new episodes uploaded each day, dramas like these deliver a committed audience and that's just what social networking sites want. There's all this user data about the people in it that starts to look like dollar signs in the cash registers of the um, system operators. Rupert Murdoch was quick to see the commercial potential of social networking sites when he bought MySpace two and a half years ago for $580 million US. You see, user profiles can be mined for information, and these companies don't only have access to basic data like a person's age or hometown, but also personal interests like music tastes or favourite films. And if you've made a purchase online, these sites can find out, and they may even take the liberty of recommending those products on your behalf to your online friends. But corporations walk a fine line, and like the owners of Facebook recently discovered, risk losing their audience if they push advertising too far. User backlash forced a back down from the company's advertising strategy and an apology. A lesson for all online entrepreneurs out there. It's really easy just to click off and, and, and not go back again. And not only that, but really easy to tell thousands, you know, hundreds of their friends, we tell hundreds of their friends really quickly, just, just you know, this show's become a, you know, a joke, it's a turn off.